Yo, yo, this is Jada Pina, and uh, today I'm going to be making a beat with uh, the MPC Studio. I am using the oldest software. So yeah, check it out. Right now I got a break drum. Alright, I got a little sample. Alright, so yo, first thing I like to do is I like making my drums first. So what I do here, as you can see in my screen, uh, where am I at? Right here, trim, chop. I'm going to go to chop. I'm going to go to chop threshold. Now you see it chops all the sounds individually. I do want this ghost kick. So right under here where the threshold is, pull up. There it is. All right. So, so I have the... All right, looks good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new program. I hit new program, new program using slices, slice type, non-destructive slice. You can do uh, pad par uh, parameters, I don't use that. So this is my settings. So if you wanna use it this way, go ahead, so press do it. I go to the main screen. Now on the main screen, where it says program, or you can come here where program is, it's like the break, chop, boom. There they all are. Put on full level. All right. So I'm going to make my drum first. Um, little secret that I do, I usually use, I'm usually on time correct on off right here today I'm going to show you how I do it to give it a swing without off all right so on the time correct you go to 8 I'm going to make the beat at 94 BPM I double it up so it's at 188 okay so now on my bars how many I want you got to double that up I'm just going to make it a two bar drum all right so on the swing right here I'm pull it up to about 60 let's do 67 all right, you can do whatever you want. Uh, between like 65 and 71 is like that 90s boom bap sound to me anyway. Everything I'm saying and everything I'm doing is my way. It's not the way. It's it's my way. All right, so check it. So I got the ghost kick. I'm press record. Play stop. It's going to give me a counter. One, two, three, four. All right, so I got my little drum. Um, now I'm going to put in my hi-hats. I'm going to show you guys something. If you press Shift, Program Edit. Uh, wait a minute, what's going on? Sorry, just Program Edit. I'm sorry about that. Right here, where it says Master. When you chop something, it automatically puts it in mono, which means every sound's gonna chop itself. For my drums, I like to put it in, in, in the poly, okay? Because you can see it overlaps each other. If you have it on mono, you can't do that. So I'm gonna put on poly so I can throw in my hi-hats, all right? So. So I'm gonna do my hi-hats. On the main screen and on the MPC hardware, you're going to press 16 level. Okay. Now, where it says 16 level, you're going to see velocity. Now, you can do it here on the screen itself, or you can do it on the hardware. I'm going to do it on the hardware. I'm going to put on velocity. I'm sure you can hear that. Up, down, up, down, and, and volume. Okay. That gives it more of a humanized feel. So that's what I want. I'm going to press close. I'm going to overdub, play stop. All right, so that's my drum. Um, 
My preference, like I said, I like to play the drums out first. I might change the pad in a little bit. I might, you know, change the sounds. But today, I'm just going to go through it real quick. Um, we're going to keep it as is. So let me hear it again. Yeah, it's got that nice, that nice 90 sound. So here's my sample. All right. So right here, you can press trim. All right. I'm going to be doing this all on the hardware. It's easier for me. So you press trim. Okay. You're going to go to your end. There's a start. There's an end. If you're looking at the screen. Here. You know what? I've never done it from here. But on the hardware, you can see it. If you look at your screen, it says start end. I'm going to go to my end. And I'm going to chop the ending off right here. Okay. Using the quick links using the data wheel okay now I'm gonna press process which is F6 I'm gonna do this here so you can see I'm gonna press discard this is gonna discard the end boom okay so now I have this right here I just have the straight loop so if I play it it'll loop itself Cool. So now I'm going to the chop. Again, here you can go trim, you can go chop. Me personally, I like to slice and chop my, my samples manually. All right. You can actually come into here where it says chop to manual, and you can actually put them in. Boom. Boom. You see where my markers are? Boom. You see the red? Once you see the red, you can press that. Boom. I'm going to undo that though. All right. Release. Here, you can do it in thresholds, so it catches all the spots. Look at that, that's ridiculous. You don't want that, undo. I'm gonna show you what I do. I'm in chop mode, I press F6, slice, so I get my first slice. I just messed up, hold on, my bad. You gotta be on stop. So again, I'm gonna press slice, and it's doing it again. What is going on, hold on, people. doing that hold on keep this part we're gonna have to chop Done. so now i rewound it let me see so i'm gonna press slice there we go all right sorry for that i had to um actually put the marker back here i i had the marker down here for some reason i have no idea why but it was there so i had my first slice i press slice so now what I do is I play. I play the sample, let it go and see where I want to chop it. All right, I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna press play Q, which is F5. All right, I know it's kind of difficult probably seeing that. That smoke just came from my man, Keith. Thank you, Keith. That just like literally. Whew. No, it didn't. Good job, homie. Anyway, so now you got your chops, all right? So now my chops are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I got 12 chops, all right? So now what I like to do is I like to tighten them up, all right? So F4, you can zoom in. You zoom in, you zoom in. All right. So my first chop is all right. My second chop, I'm going to use the Q link. Now these, you can go with these, you got four knobs. One goes uh, like a little more, a little less, a little less, less, less. I like to use the second one. Sorry, I know that's annoying. It's the way I have it set up so I can hear it. So the chop's a little bit more on now. Again, 
sorry. It's just the way I have it set up. I like hearing it. sounds so again just like my drums you got to create a new program all right i'm gonna press new program again same thing convert to new program using slices slice type non-destructive boom go down now here i'm gonna go to track two okay you can come here you can do it there me i'm gonna personally do it on my hardware and you gotta you gotta put it to the sample channel, okay? The sample chops. There's all my samples, okay? And now I'm just gonna play around until I hear something that I like, and you know, I might tune it a little bit, tone it, pitch it, all that good stuff. So just watch, watch the screen, watch me. All right, here we go. All right, so right off the rip, I could tell you that the sample's a little too fast for me. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to shift. Actually, no, don't press shift, just press program edit. Now down here where it says edit zones, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to be throwing the pitch down, throwing the pitch up, right? I got to put this back to zero. Obviously, you want all the samples to to be at the same pitch, right? It's going to sound funny if it's not. So you got to press all here. Now, it highlights all your chops that you have for that particular program. So now you're here. I know some people do it here. I... I'm just so used to doing over here. So this is going to lower all my chops. Again, I'm just going to mess around, see what I got. tough that sounds all right <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back to the main screen again record overdub well no record play stop sorry i'm just gonna see what i got again this is just gonna be a two bar beat it's gonna be a quick video Simple chops. All I used was a break drum, a cool sample, and that's what I got. Um, I'm going to mess with it, tighten it up. Uh, listen, fellas, if you guys got some samples, you got questions, ladies too, hit me up, DM me, send me some stuff. All right? Peace, Jada Pino.